Good morning, 9th and 10th grade. This is Ms. Dolberg. I'm the 9th grade counselor, and I'm here to explain to you how to access school counseling supports here at North Tahoe during distance learning and beyond. First, I want to make sure you understand what school counselors do. We operate in three domains, social, emotional, college, career, and academic. Social, emotional means if you're having a hard day, you got in a fight with your parents, you feel stress, anxiety, or depression, we are here for you. College and career, you'll notice that in the school year, the school counselors will give you lessons on how to graduate from high school, how to get into college, or how to start a career in what inspires you. And finally, third, academic. We are the schedulers. If you need a change, if you need to change a class before the drop deadline of September 25th, you will reach out to us. If you are struggling in a class, you will hear from us. Many of you are new to North Tahoe and we are so excited to have you. I hope the first week has gone well for you, but everyone is new-ish, at least, to online learning. Even I am. Just follow along with me and understand how to contact myself or Mr. Reed. Uh, you'll see here that I am currently on the North Tahoe High School Counseling page. All of your counseling needs will be met here on this website. Down at the bottom right corner here, you'll notice that a school counselor is available and online to chat with you. You click on this, you write a message, um, a school counselor will respond instantly. Um, if you want to, you can also click on Digital Counseling. This will take you to our Digital Counseling page. You can book an appointment, go to our YouTube, or see any of the forms and documents that we have available to you if we need you to fill out a form. So to book a digital appointment, you click and it brings you to our Calendly website. If you see here, they are separated by grades. Please select your appropriate grade and fill out. You'll select a time that works for you, and then you'll fill out all of this information. When selecting an appointment, make sure you select an appointment that is maybe longer than you think that you need. If it takes the whole time, great. If it doesn't, that just leaves time for Mr. Reem and I to answer our thousands of emails. All right, how else can you contact us? You can <clears throat> contact us in many ways. Here is my contact information. You may want to pause the video or take a screenshot. Uh, Mr. Reem and I both have cell phone numbers that you can contact us by text or through phone call, um, an email, you can send us an email or write us a chat. We also each have an office hour from 2.30 to 3 p.m. daily. This is our office hour code. And this is Mr. Reem's cell phone number, email address, and office hour code. In addition to your two counselors, you also have the fabulous support of Hilary Jimenez, who runs the Wellness Center at North Tahoe High School. This is her website. I got here by clicking on the Wellness Center tab on the North Tahoe High School Counseling website, and it brought me to the Wellness Center. You can contact Hilary by scrolling down to the Contact Wellness Center. This is Hillary Jimenez's contact information. This is her cell phone number that you can call or text, her email address, and her office hours are from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. daily. If you want to meet with her any other time, just send her an email. And finally, I would like to give you a little tutorial on how to check your email. Your teachers are emailing you constantly. They're emailing you through Google Classroom. They're emailing you directly. I'm emailing you directly. So I wanted to give you a little tutorial on how you access all those really important emails. So right now, um, I'm gonna exit out of my screen so you can see my full screen. Um, right now I'm on Google. 
There's a few ways. Um, if you open up Google, you'll see that I can click, you can click on Gmail, or you can click on this little waffle Google apps, and you can click on Gmail. You can also access your drive, your classroom, Google Docs, all these wonderful things from this little waffle. So if I click on Gmail, it's going to bring me to this page right here. Um, as you can see, I have 19 unread emails, got a few from Ms. Pillsbury, some from Ms. Wilson, from some from Ms. Schuster, Ms. Burke. And so right now, I also have this email from Stacy Ferguson, who I don't know. Um, so I'm going to click on that read through it doesn't look like it's something i want so i'm going to go up here and i'm going to press this delete button um that will get it out of my inbox next um i have this email from miss wilson um that says whatever you do don't open the email well i'm going to open it so there it is from miss wilson she thought she could trust me so um, if you go down here, you click on reply. Now I'm replying directly to Miss Wilson. And I say, sorry, you couldn't trust me, period. And then I come down here and I press this send button. And that'll go directly to Miss Wilson. Um, you can also, Maybe I want to respond to Ms. Schuster. She says, here's a joke. Where do rock stars like to sit? In a rocking chair. <laughs> Ms. Schuster. So I think that's a hilarious joke. And I want to forward it, which means this whole email gets forwarded to the person that I send it to. So I'm sending it to Ms. Pillsbury because I know that Ms. Pillsbury loves jokes. So I press send. That gets forwarded to Ms. Pillsbury. This is back to your inbox. Say um, that I loved that email um, from my Schuster. I love the title. Do you have a booger in your nose? Um, I want to mark it as unread because I want to be able to read it again. So there it is. I click on this three more and I mark it as unread and there it is back in my inbox. So I hope that was really helpful for you to learn how to contact your counselors and also how to check your email. If you have any questions, send an email to your counselor or to Hillary. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Take the next few minutes to head into your email and clean it up. Respond to your teachers or your counselors who've been emailing you. Have a great day. See you next week.